Hey guys, what's up? So this is part two of the walk around the PA-16 Clipper. If you missed the first part, I'll put a link up there. You can check that out later. But in this video, I wanna show you a close-up look, my intercom system, my custom box for the pilot, co-pilot headsets, along with how the back seat comes out super easy in a matter of seconds, along with how I can put the fat tire foldable electric bike in the back seat. So let's get right to it. Okay, let's check out this radio first. If you missed in previous video, I did put a Garmin GTR 200B for Bluetooth. Super happy with this radio. Uh, I can actually hear aircraft about 15 miles away while I'm on the ground here, next local airport. Super happy with the Bluetooth function. And down here is the custom box that I built. I got these templates from a fellow online friend paul and super super nice so i used a black textured finish give it a pretty nice look if you have any questions whatsoever about this box definitely drop those below in the comments i would do my best to answer those and possibly you can make one yourself okay so we're going to go around here to the back i'll show you how i take out the back seat super super easy and then also i have the stratus here I use for the iPad ADS-B. Pretty happy with the Stratus. Works pretty nice with the iPad up here. You got the iPad mini on the mount there on the windshield. Okay, so let's get around to the back and let's get this back seat out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the back seat out and uh, kind of talk through here. Hopefully you can see, but I'll do my best to uh, kind of show you what's going on. So basically, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna toss this in the front seat because I don't really need it right now. Don't wanna put it on the ground and get it dirty. But uh, I got the uh, tie down hooks here. Let's kinda put these in the back. So this seat right here, actually, let me get a little closer here. This is a uh, bar that uh, just kinda goes up in there. It's slotted and you pull it up to where there's a, a bigger opening. And then the little knob comes through and then same thing here on the floor you just knock it forward and then it's a bigger part of the slot and then you just kind of have to wiggle it out of there and then over so over here on the wall it's basically the same thing this right here has been ripped a little bit obviously there's duct tape and uh, it just kind of kind of happens I guess so that goes up kind of the same thing and then let me move the camera back and kind of see how this comes out here. Okay, so this right here just slides out of that sling there. Pretty much all there is to it. I want to put this in the front seat so it's not just down in the dirt. So what I do is I actually leave this in here and I'm able to push this back and still put the bike in. Okay, so now I'm going to get it folded up get in the back seat. And it's been a while since I've done this, so hopefully I can still do it pretty smooth. Front tire, you actually go around the back here and uh, pull it in to where it doesn't want to fold out like that okay one step at a time so now when you get it here you just want to kind of regroup and see which way the handlebars need to kind of fit right behind the back seat Okay, so that's how it fits inside, and the door actually shuts pretty nice. Okay, so if you have any suggestions on how to tie this down, um, obviously we got the, the back seat belt here. I'll be able to utilize that. 
or the other side. I'll probably go through the frame here and just kind of cinch it down over the tire to where it doesn't want to lift up. So the back seat actually goes all the way back. Doesn't really seem to be putting much pressure on the handlebars. And like I said, it fits pretty darn nice. Before I would go flying like this, I definitely would want to add some padding around this support, probably the paddles on the floor, just kind of cushions around it to make sure nothing gets damaged. But uh, yeah, I'm open to any suggestions, so looking to finalize this before I actually go flying with it. Okay guys, is that crazy? Is it awesome? Let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions about securing the bike, protecting the back of the airplane, anything whatsoever, love to hear about it. And until next time, be safe and be blessed. See you.